how much of a risk is the space junk that we've left in the environment? Oh, don't get we were... me started. There's countless thousands of bits of space junk, oh, from it's... chips of paint that fell off of to space, bolts. to bolts and to nails and... Retro and rocket and boosters. Boost. And... Yeah, it's all up there. And I'm wondering whether we haven't been visited by aliens yet because they saw the space junk orbiting Earth and said, forget that. I'm going to visit some other planet. What I'm going to risk my life. Crazy, so... short-sighted approach to space travel. Yeah, to so litter if you bring our... up the NASA Orbital Debris Office website, you can actually see the debris that NASA's tracking almost in real time. It's crazy They'll how show much it to there you. is. And it's, it's like a beehive around the Earth. And that outer ring that you see, that's the altitude of geosynchronous satellites. So launch windows have to know when to not hit stuff. And there was a Japanese who had an experiment to try to capture it with nets. The problem is the low orbit stuff will eventually fall in and burn up. The high Earth orbit stuff will never go away. There's nothing to destroy it. And so they can't capture that stuff? The stuff is moving 18,000 miles an hour. <laughs> so what's your net? What Just what are you doing? Oh, that's so crazy.